Okie dokie, last time in Bean and Nothing... Blah, 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 Bean and Nothingness, that's the name of the game. Uh, we crossed this bridge and we finished another island. Uh, island number eight, but it's not the eighth one I've done, sadly. I've only done four. Although I'm close on one other, I guess. Maybe on the Ditto Island as well, I'm quite close. Can't remember exactly. Uh, and there's only nine in total. So, you know, four islands done is pretty good progress. Considering that means like almost all the puzzles on each island are done. Um, I'm thinking I might just continue here. Like, why just move away straight away? Maybe like the kind of knowledge I've got in my head will help me right now. Like the, the stuff I have that I've been using recently. Um, I had some thoughts actually about this puzzle. That sometimes it's hard for me to... Um, to frame my thoughts after a puzzle, after I've finished the puzzle. Um, and I need to like think about it for a bit and then next time I come back to the game, I'm like, I have some things to say. Um, so I ended up mentioning, uh, mentioning this in Discord as well. Um, but like, I think part of the reason I forget that like pulling the bomb over the switch, would press it down is because in my mind, the, the the creatures being lifted up by the vine and pulled, which kind of makes sense for the water, right? Because like, if the vine wasn't like holding up the creature, the, then they would just drop into the water with the vine as well. Like the vine was weak in any way, it would just be dropping the creature down and the, the vine's arm would also go down into it. Um, and then, um, but like, so then obviously you could say on land though, they're still like touching the ground. But I guess I would assume that like, because they're being held and can be held above water, they wouldn't have their full weight. So it wouldn't be like a, a creature is like putting its weight onto the switch. So just, I think just intuitively in my head, that's the way it would work is if they're being held, they wouldn't press the switch. And which is why I kind of forgot about it. Um, the other thing I was going to say is that I think the main trick that was like supposed to be the biggest trick of the puzzle, like the main like aha moment of the puzzle, I guess, is it was supposed to be around this stuff, especially because this is the petal island and this is the stuff to do with petals. Um, was like realizing that you could make multiple passes through without blocking off certain colors. Like you could you could mix multiple colors in a single pass through. I think that was meant to be the main thing, and I thought about that within like five minutes of starting the puzzle, I think. So if I, I think if I hadn't have gotten stuck on this particular interaction, I could have finished the puzzle pretty quickly last time. Uh, then the, I guess the next thing after that was the realizing that I had to form a bomb up in this row. I think that was necessary, but maybe it wasn't, I'm not totally sure. Because I've done a vine up here. Uh, no, I, I don't know. But I think that's been quite common actually in a couple of these um, puzzles that are around the petals. Because the petals aren't themselves like a dynamic moving thing, it seems to be that there's like a petal puzzle and then a like an extra can you arrange all the monsters in the right positions at the right time puzzle attached onto it. Um, which is interesting, there's like two distinct puzzles going on there. Not totally distinct, obviously, because what you do in one affects what you, what you can do in the other. But anyway, enough about that. Um, I mean, I guess we can try this one by any beans necessary. There's only two recipes. This is going to be easy peasy, right? It's not a five bean at all. And I need an alternating sequence here on that. Okay. And right now I have one cyan bean, one purple bean. I'm never getting any more purple beans. I don't have a purple monster. I don't have any way of blowing up a purple monster even if I did. Oh, I potentially could be getting more purple beans if I made a purple spawner, right? But right now I don't have a uh, green bean. I could get one, but then I can't get a cyan spawner so I probably want to at least make a cyan spawner right 
um, and then and then could I in any way so greens I can get into this area which includes this bit up here as well in fact the entire area is green effectively and cyan oh no I can't walk through there okay so this area is cyan that area is green um so I can now get cyans over there no issue and I can get greens here as well do I want these two things to be green and cyan or do I want one of them to be purple I probably want green and cyan right now I just have infinite of these okay and now I need to come up with some mechanism that will move this over this switch move the purple bean over the switch over and over while I'm over here using vines and icicles like am I doing another loop fine here grabs it fine down here grabs it fine somewhere else grabs it hmm I can't loop through this because of these walls here and the paved floor Well, that's another thing is, let's say I had a vine here to grab this bean and it needs to go around the loop, then that vine would have to grab it from somewhere over here. But how would that happen? Hmm. We have icicles, so we can smash, we can freeze and smash vines. I wonder if I've done anything wrong already. It's hard to say. I can easily just like spawn another green like that. Um, okay. I reckon I'm doing, I reckon one of these is supposed to be purple. And what I'm actually doing is grabbing it from over here, grabbing the purple, Snatching it that way somehow. That can't happen though, can it? Uh, but yeah, it could, because I could fill in the space and build a vine there. Hmm. This feels too... Obvious, maybe. And actually, maybe I'd only need one cyan, so I don't need this to be a cyan thing. Interesting. But then where do I get my greens from? Okay, so I start by making a green spawner, and then I go and turn that into a cyan to make an icicle here-ish. Not there. What happens if it's here? That could work. Hmm. But I would also want to get, well, I'd need to get greens into here. That would be part of the problem. I'm thinking of filling in this space, basically. I can alternatively fill that space in from up here. Well, that's interesting. Is it? Uh... Yeah, so ultimately I, I want a purple on there, so that's spawning purples. Oh, I guess my other issue is going to be that it's not going to spawn another purple unless the purple gets consumed somehow. How can a purple get consumed? It can't. Maybe if it was like. No, if a vine was frozen, the purple would just be sitting underneath it. Hmm. Maybe I'm not looping. Sorry, maybe I am looping. Maybe I'm not doing this 
purple gets grabbed from here and then goes that way. Yeah, how would they make it spawn another purple? Because I'd want this spawn to spawn another purple, so that purple would have to get consumed somehow. But I can't spawn it, and nothing here can destroy it. So some way it could get dropped in the water? I don't think so. Hmm. So I'm doing a loop. Could it be a really complicated loop? Guess. Let's say, let's still think that, let's still imagine that I'm like putting greens here, like ice cubes here. If I can, how would I even do that? Let's think about how that would be possible first. So I've got ice here. Like, is there a reason I want to spawn something there? Oh, I could push it over and have green here. Ooh, interesting. Let's just do that to see what happens. Let's pick this up and change it to a blue, and then back to a green just so the other green spawns. And then put something here. Go around and spawn the blue. And push that down. We have a problem, but I'm never going to be able to grab that. Except, oh, interesting. Can I get you to be eaten by a vine? Somehow. What if I had done, hmm. you be in a different place? You could be here. Doesn't make it better, does it? Nope. Let's still have a green there. I could then spawn it there, but then be stuck in a corner. I won't be able to push it in any direction. Could I do a second one or something? They smash, would the other one smash there? If it did, how would that help me? Oh, actually, so what I could do is let you smash there, spawn you again, then do another one. How do I do another one? By having that one take a green bean. I'm just gonna keep going with this because it's an interesting way of getting green beans into that space, whether or not I actually need to do it or not. Okay, spawn a green. Uh, well, I've messed it up because you're already spawned. In fact, so if you're not spawned, I can't get another green bean. Uh, I have one, apparently. Sure. But I'm not going to be able to spawn another one until I've done a bunch of stuff here. But okay, so that. You take that. Then you go here and freeze you. Then I can spawn both of those. Freeze you to make you a wall for the other one to hit. And then I can push the other one and spawn it to make it eat the icicle. <laughs> what have I gained out of this? Can I smash those against the wall? I can't, can I? They have to move. Yeah, they have to move. Hmm. And then I've got no blue left. Hmm. Beginning to doubt this.
<clears throat> the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm thinking I want to fill in some of the water here, I guess. Why not here? What does this water do? Why is this not just open? In fact, why is this green here? Well, that is interesting, isn't it? Like, this is already a green zone for me, but then this is a green zone. I guess it's to stop me taking whatever colour that's going to be into there and have it be whatever colour it is. <clears throat> right, because if I could just like spawn purples there, I could just walk in there and, well, no, I wouldn't solve it at all. So is that going to be a blue? Is one of these going to be blue? And one of them going to be green? But I could do more stuff with freezing things. Maybe. Okay, and then getting a green over to there requires what? I mean, why don't I like, I could also bring the, oh. Don't take that, please. There, go away. Let's do this, and I've got this here. <clears throat> Wait, I've got a green here, not a, oh yeah, whoops. I was thinking that would get me a blue here. How do I get a blue here? Not by spawning it, I guess. So they have to freeze you some other way. Okay. No. Hmm. I could fill in the water, make a bridge. Because I haven't lost anything in this process, have I? Uh, yeah, that's fine, sure. I mean, there's literally no down downside to me doing this, so I'll just keep doing it, right? Okay, now I have a bridge and I can take blues through. Cool. <clears throat> now what? At some point I need to think about, about what my end state's actually gonna be. Uh, not yet, I guess. <laughs> I'm just expecting maybe there's going to be some weird perpetual freezing thing going on, but that's, I don't think that's pretty really possible. Because if you freeze a vine, when it breaks, it becomes a bean and it can't come back. Only with a cloud involved with your perpetual freezing cycle, right? Um, okay, let's, let's turn this green. Why did I do that? I don't really know. So can I have at most one cyan in this area now? I guess so. So let's do something with it to spawn another one, which would be turning into green. Hmm. Guess what I'm thinking though, now that I've got that, I could potentially get a vine to here. Is that possible though? Because no, none of this is spawnable. I kind of just want to fill in as much, as much of the water as possible. I could keep going. <laughs> like over here. We could fill in this entire three by three thing, I think. Why not, right? Let's do uh, Oh, uh, just swap them around, I guess. Sure, I'm going to keep doing it. I feel like there's no downside to this. Oh. Uh, uh. 
It's probably also no upside. So why am I doing it? I don't know. I could also just do it down there. Anyway, okay, I don't need to prove, my, prove to myself I can do the other one as well. These poor vines, look at them. Just forming a new land mass for me. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I've got this. What am I doing with it? My tug of warring? Like in theory, if I got a vine there and a vine there, they could tug of war. I can't remember exactly how you set that up, but I remember it being possible. So is this just about forming uh, ice cubes here? What would that take? I'd have to push them from the side, right? How would I freeze a vine somewhere here that I could push to the right? I can't. So it'd have to be here. So I need to make a vine here. I can push over a vine as I've done before. I can freeze it and then push it down, but then I can't access it anymore. Is there some way that's that could be not true? Oh, I could have spawned you. Hmm, but no, that just freezes you. I guess what I was thinking is, if I grab another bean. Oh, I've got one, I guess. Oh, sure, I'll do this one. If I do this here, oh, this here. And then push that down. I can then spawn it and it'll eat that. Then we've just got a frozen thing. Which I can never break, right? Yeah. So it's almost like I want to get something else to eat you. Which is why I sent another one here. Think about that again. Oh, let me spawn another green. Okay. Now I've got three, more than I asked for. So you and you, is this idea of you taking that, then me having some more stuff that I can use over here. And there's the idea of you being frozen by that, and then the next one eating it. The problem is I have to spawn the one that I've pushed down in order to do anything else, right? Yeah. And then it's just formed a corner. Doing this doesn't help. I've just got two in the same space. There's something I can do here, but I don't know what. Sure, that ends up eating you, but it's not really useful, is it? There's some other way of getting greens into that area. Oh, uh, yes, yes, I have another way of getting green. Ooh, potentially laborious way of getting them there, but. I think there is a way, which is take these. Oh, I did the offset taking. Uh, that's fine. This is not what I intended to do. Uh, put those down there. Walk around this way to go and get a blue. 
I didn't have to walk around that way. Now I do, but... Okay. So can I put blue here, have a green there for later, put you here, do that, then do this, but you get frozen, smash you, and then do the same thing. Yes, so they can get greens over there for sure. Okay. Feels like progress. I don't know towards what, but <laughs> uh, that's fine with me. Ah, pick up. Do I have enough greens? I think so. One here. Oh yeah, and it's all on there already. Grab that. And you break. Okay. You go on there. Grab you and you. Green there, blue there. That and then I have to again. One more time. Oh, spawn. I mean, this definitely seems useful, right? I don't know what my end goal is yet, so I'm just like, I'm going on the basis that it feels useful, not that it necessarily is. Okay, we have a green bean over there. Success. I can now fill in this space. I need to send more, a lot more. <laughs> what would they need? So. There's going to be one blue here for sure to freeze that. Where would I put it? Here, I guess? I'd do this and push them up. Uh, but then I'd need to like consume you. I mean, I can just keep going. Sure, let's just do it. I can bring another green. I've got to be doing something wrong here, but I don't know. I'm going to keep going just because it's like it's freeing up the possibility space massively. Uh, oh, don't get grabbed. Uh, you there, you there, you there. Okay, we've got another green over there. Then no, you can eat that. Another green over there, which needs to eat this. I can definitely be doing stuff more efficiently here, but whatever. You can, oh. Okay, we've got a green here, nice. Then bring blue. Woohoo. Okay, now that's filled in. I probably don't need to fill in the next one, but should I do it anyway, just because? Okay, I took the short route this time. I'm learning. Uh, I need to spawn more. Uh, green there, green there. Grab two more. Okay, please down for now. Uh, oh, you're going to be eating you. Ah, <laughs> not me. Oh, you stay up here. I mean, maybe I'm just doing this. Oh, so now I've got a root round. Wait, in fact, taking greens is much easier now. <laughs> I should have thought about that. But I could just walk greens around now. Uh, is the tug of war just going to work? It's the way out of here. Hmm, the tug of war did not work. I don't know exactly what the requirements are to make that happen. It's a little bit of a fiddly interaction. Like, well, I guess the requirement is that you've still got another space to move. 
And could that work ever? So that's worse. Oh, that's definitely worse. Maybe I just do a loop. Done a loop before, maybe I can do a loop again. What kind of loop would work here? Any? Like I can now pull this way if I want to. Like if that's, that could be the start of the loop, but then something grabs it from here maybe. Something grabs it here. Where are we going though? Like what's the plan? I need a route. I don't think there's a big route that I could do. No. Also, that'd be really slow at the end. <laughs> Why do we have to go around? So how can I get this bean around the loop up here somehow? It went that way. Well, to here, I guess. It's never going to be able to come back past it, right? Yeah. So I think the loop is wrong. I, th I think a took a is right, but I didn't have to set it up. Maybe it's not right, I don't know. I guess the other thing I could do is position the purple differently at the beginning. I don't know if that makes a difference. Oh gosh, maybe that needs to be gone. Maybe it also doesn't help that you're there, although you're probably going to be further away than this will ever be. Okay. Uh, 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 no, okay, it doesn't give enough time at all. It could be here, here. No, they, yeah, the tug of war doesn't work. This is just the same situation as before, but the other way around. There's definitely no loop I could do, is there? Like, let's say I have one down here. And somehow this will pull this way, then down, then to the right. I can't go around this post. Although I could... No... Well, if it, when it's pulled to the right, it's pulled along this top row, like I have one up here, and then one down here grabs it off that. This way. How's it getting back now? It's not. Yeah, I think this too wide passage and this too wide passage of pre preventing this from working, I think. Like, I feel like my situation is, is purely better than it was at the start and I've not lost anything. So I'm pretty sure I'm not in a stuck position. I'd be very sneaky if I was, but I can't be. I can get greens and blues everywhere and I've got my purple bean. It just needs to go. Ah, uh, yes, easy. What kind of sequence of things could work? There to there. I can't get it through here, can I? No. There to there, to the left, back up again. OK, 
can I actually get more greens? That's the other question. I guess maybe by freezing some, yeah. So I reckon I could spawn like pretty much infinite greens. Should I do it? Uh, where am I gonna do it? I can do it anywhere really, can't I? I just have to like use all the greens I've got. Uh... Oh, in fact, I can just, the easiest way to use greens is just to convert them. Like this. And then go and grab the other one and convert it again. Okay, let's get lots of greens so I can experiment. There's some mechanism I can set up with freezing and vines. I don't think so. There has to just be a loop I can do or something, or a tug of war, or I don't know exactly. Is there a way to insert a delay into a tug of war somehow? Oh gosh. <laughs> That's what 13 beans looks like. That's what 14 looks like. Okay, loads of greens. What am I doing with them? Somehow setting up a, a tug of war or a loop or something that moves you about. Yeah, just the spacing is terrible. You can either go that way or that way, to one of those two spots. If you go to this spot, then the only place you could get pulled to at any point is this row. Here would be bad because you'd get eaten, so here or here. could be here. Nope. Nope. Sure, it's a loop, <laughs> kind of. Nothing would ever get it back into this, like this line of sight along these two rows. Hmm. Without there being a vine here, but then how do I pull it that way in the first place? I guess that vine could do it. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. Maybe I do want to fill this in further. Let's go get that one. Okay, if you're there, and then there's one here, and then there's one here, and there's one here. This is like quite a lot of a loop, but not a whole loop. <clears throat> it's like the end of a loop. I guess what I'm imagining is this is being pulled along horizontally here, I guess grabbed by this one. comes this way, gets grabbed by that one, gets pulled that way, but let's get grabbed by this again. Is there just, okay, hold on. Cause I've got this space here. So we could go down vertically here. Then you get grabbed from here, but then how do you go up again? That's my problem. Like maybe this is some weird way of delaying the 
a thing. Yeah. Could there be some weird situation where, um, sorry, just shifting around my chair, um, where a vine is pulling some an icicle past some other vines, and that's freezing them and doing something with them. But what? No, they could push them. <sighs> It'll bother me if this is just possible with like, with this. <laughs> it's not though, right? Like the distance is wrong for it, I think. going to delay the purple being there in the first place a little bit I guess <laughs> not enough time for me to get through Am I missing something obvious? Don't think so. That is the only two places that the finds could be though. But I can't do the tug of war. I don't think, unless I'm messing it up somehow, is there some option I haven't considered? that way. What if there's like a tug of war combined with something else? Like, like there's a tug of war here. Oh gosh. get back into that tug of war it wouldn't but maybe I can consider that here like where I was doing the tug of war before now again how would it get into this tug of war again maybe the tug of war is somewhere else like vertically a vertical tug of war in fact let's test what's required for a tug of war I reckon it's like that oh gosh uh, get rid of these, I guess. That's a lot of stuff. Mm. No, even that doesn't do it. I 
don't know how I'm supposed to figure this out. Uh, uh, uh. It's getting close to that side. So I think this is still not the right balance. Maybe this. Oh, now that's there. Ha. Was that maybe too close to you to begin with? Maybe I should have done this. Okay, two. Ah, two, yeah, okay, that's it. Tug of war. How far apart are you? One, two, three, four, five, six faces between. A lot of stuff to undo through. Oh no. <laughs> Why did they do that? Okay. There we go. So they have to have that many spaces between six. And what do I do with that? That technically could happen over here. Oh no, it couldn't, because the other green would have to go on this, but it can't. So in fact, that's pretty much the only space where I can even make a tug of war, I think. Unless I can do a shorter one. So I've been doing four apart, what about three apart? Is that three apart? Yeah. Oh. Potentially, if I could do it, uh, if I could like spawn that. Hmm. What would happen if I could spawn that now? You'd go there, you go there, you'd grab. I think that would work, maybe? I guess I could distract you with a different beam for a moment. Yes, that is also a tug of war. Okay. Is it multiples of three that allow it? Something to do with the number of turns it takes to to bring the fine in and sorry to bring the the bean in and then reset back to a grabbable state. Might make it a multiple of three thing. Okay, but that interestingly gets a purple into that row. Which I could then pull this way, but then what? Oh, I could do another tug of war here. Oh no, it doesn't work. That is interesting. <laughs> no, it definitely doesn't work. Because like, the other fine, oh gosh. They have to be here, and then I can't make another tug of war here. Thought maybe I could get through one step. Uh, okay. Can I do anything with that tug of war?
Once again, I watched it for a long time. Okay. Sadly, I cannot build this here because of the way the paving is. Can I simulate it somehow? Also, the tug of war on that row all the way to there. I think. Wait, did I do that before? I might have done that before. Is this new to me? Oh, I did it the wrong way around. You first, then you. Okay, cool. Now what? Yeah, there's just no way of getting it back into that tug of war. Basically, at this point, I'm just back to thinking, what is the end state? <laughs> and that's the entire puzzle that's left, because I can make anything I like anywhere I want. But... The only thing I'm thinking is that I could, like, undoing everything. Let's say this for a purple spawner. I could freeze a vine and it would drop the bean in the water and spawn a new one, but then the vine is frozen. That sounds terrible. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I, I think I'm doing the right thing. I just have to somehow get you to move over that. How? Using some horrible timing. <laughs> No, you've got it. Oh, <laughs> you've got me. Yeah, I just can't get it back into that row. Oh, what if that was... Ooh, double tug of war. Mm, no, I can't set it up though. I'm thinking like crisscrossing tug of wars. But there's nowhere I can do it. There is nowhere I can do it at all. <laughs> you could be involved in two tug of wars at the same time. No, you can't because this isn't far enough, is it? One, two, three, no. How does this even help? I guess what I was thinking is, if I could have a tug of war there and a crisscrossing tug of war, maybe somehow they'd keep swapping back over into the original tug of war and the timing would be good. But I cannot do that. There's nowhere I can do that because this wall, and this wall, and this wall, all these walls. There's definitely no way, to, no way to get a vine on the tiles, right? Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Uh, 
How can this be doable? The timing here does not work. Unless like distracting one of them sometimes somehow helps. Feels like it would do exactly the wrong thing, but... I mean, yeah, it's definitely do the wrong thing. When I go into silent mode, it's because I have to do some kind of abstract thinking that I cannot vocalize. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand how thinking works. Or it's almost like maybe the... the Cause when I'm narrating what I'm doing normally, I guess it's because I'm already narrating in my head what I'm doing to some degree. It helps me analyze a problem to verbalize it without vocalizing it. Just like verbalize it in my head. Um, but certain modes of thinking, like doing that doesn't help. Or maybe like if you were to do that, you'd be talking super fast. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, But yeah, sometimes I just need to kind of stare at a thing and like let permutations of things happen in my head and it's hard to talk about that. That's not something I can verbalize. Except really slowly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what am I doing? Um, like no matter what I do, even if I had like a tug of war here, there's no reason I want to fill these in, right? I don't think so. This is a bad two of war. It's one that will... Yeah, it'll do that. Which one do they spawn first? The bottom one. So do this instead. Then it'll get eaten by you. If you are spawned... Something different would happen. Hmm, or not. I just can't think of a way of making the purple go over that multiple times. It clearly has to. It has to go over it four times. And it's obviously going to be an infinite loop. It's not going to be specifically four times. And I don't think there's a way... Like, so go, going back to the idea of like me dropping these in the water... So like a vine picks it up, somehow carries it over water, that's its own problem. Maybe I could make it work. And then how does it drop it? The only way to make a vine drop uh, a bean while I'm not there is to freeze the vine. You drop it in the water and then you want to spawn, that could get picked up. But then that vine's frozen, so that can no longer be the one that's like dropping it in the water. I can't smash it and reform it. It's interesting that there's a line of sight here. Right, like, in theory if I wanted to, I could spawn something while standing here. Is that useful somehow? How? There's no way I could have done everything that I've done without the purple spawner, right? Sorry, without the, the cyan spawner. Or without the... How many things do I start off with? Let's make a checkpoint. <laughs> uh, or maybe before I spawned you, make a checkpoint. 
Oh, you go away. Okay. Um, how many things do I start off with? One. One cyan. And I can make lots of beans, but I... I mean, is it possible that I could make a purple spawner here? Because I can make lots of beans because I can spawn them. But they have to be green. Or they have to be cyan. It could be cyan and purple or green and purple. And sure, I could then spawn lots, but then I have to get them out of here. How would I do that if... Let's say I only had a green spawner. How would I start to get cyans? Obviously, I could spawn greens and turn them into cyan, but that would be only here. And my issue is like, how do I get greens into the area, different areas? Potentially, I could. I think crossing this bridge was very important. I've got the one cyan. Maybe I just like melt this. Melt the cyan, freeze the, spawn the cyan here, or somewhere here, before ever taking it anywhere, and then bring it across to freeze a vine, but then my one cyan is gone, but I can get more. Oh gosh, am I really supposed to form a purple? But I don't know what my plan is if I've done that. Sure, I can pull them this way and then that way, but they're not going to respawn. Without, for example, it going this way, coming down here, going to the right, going up. Oh, I guess, yeah, going up to here. Maybe these could be empty, no ice cubes. Then you get frozen somehow. You can't get frozen, but let's say you did. It would drop it in the water, but then you're frozen and everything's messed up. So I can't do a system where they keep dropping them in the water, right? Oh, can I do a system where they change color? Now that's interesting. That's very interesting. Purple spawner, pick up purple, it comes this way, comes this way, comes this way, crosses this is no longer purple, another one spawned. Okay. Okay. So am I thinking I can do the whole thing but make a purple spawner there? Really? Okay, I've got the checkpoint, it's fine. I can just mess about with this. So am I thinking I do this? Hmm, but no, I need, I need somehow to get greens. So the question is, do I do this or do I do this because I can get cyans at this point but only by taking them over to there oh but then I can freeze no I can't can't make cyans out of a frozen thing I feel like having cyans being spawned is better because then I can just like form cyans there and I can get as many greens as I like anyway. Okay, hold on. I'm liking what's going on here. Oh, oh, I'm not liking that though. So let's move that cyan, I guess. Uh, sure, let's do this. You go there. Mm, this isn't gonna work, is it? Because if I spawn you, you're gonna drop in the water. Could have done it where? Can't do it here. Wait, I could just move the sign above. Okay. Then you go here, you take that, I spawn that, oh, I spawn that, and don't freeze. And I've got a green here, how does that help me? What was I trying to do? I guess I want to get a cyan out into this area. That's my goal. 
Because if I can do that, then I can make the same bridge as I made before. So there's a cyan here right now, but it's the only cyan I've got. But could I do, could I like already set up a weird system of like, you go that way, then go another way and then something else. Not really, right? Unless, hold on, idea. What if, how can I get another green right now? Just by turning you into a green, yep. What happens if you get stolen from a different vine and then the other vine freezes? Do I have like time to grab? No, no, because if it freezes, then the, the thing's gone. Oh no, hold on, but it could be, no, that won't steal it then. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you do this, you grab that. Oh, I can't shoot that anymore. Yeah, that's not help at all. And there, sure, it would freeze you, but also doesn't help. I need the cyan. But I can't freeze one over here because I don't have a cyan over here, except I have one here. I could freeze one there in theory, but I can't make one there. I could freeze one here, but I can't get a, a, a vine to start taking the bean that way. There's some way of doing this. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what can I achieve right now? I could start filling in this, I guess. Yeah, what am I doing? Why don't I just fill this in? Yeah, and then I have no problem. This, this is just what I had before, right? The spawning of greens was like not at all relevant. Yeah, what am I doing? Okay. Ah, oh, don't do that though. I have to keep moving them to the right space. Okay, I think I can do everything that I did before, but make that a purple. Okay, oh, don't grab me. Okay, move that one up again. Oh, I need to spawn a green. Uh, move this one up, take the green up. And then for the bridge. Uh, yep, yep, bridge, bridge, get. All right, uh, now I've got greens and cyans in that area and I can make everything over there. I think I'm done. I just need to do everything that I think I know I need to do. Um, shall I spawn the purple now? Why not? Let's leave it until later, I guess. So, I need to fill in this as I did before. So how did that work? I used these to push stuff over here. Yep, let's do that and then take you. Okay, okay, I can do everything more efficiently with only one spawner. Uh, that's wrong, that should be blue. Yep, 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 yep. Back to this. This is exciting. Let's make you spawn again, grab you. Oh, okay. Come around this way. Ice, you, you go up there, you grab you. You smash, got that. Green, green. You spawn again. I don't have to do that because I'm about to spawn it anyway. Oh, I put the green in the wrong place. Green, come here. You go there. So you go there. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Next turn, I will have greens where I need them. There, that, 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 oh, oh, I forgot to push you, let's 
fine. Okay, I have a green over here. Now I can start doing the stuff I did before. I think I just need to fill that in. Yeah. Oh, I guess I can just do it here. No, I can't. Yeah, so I need to fill that in. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm on the track doing it. Okay, that's that. Now another one. Another green. Uh, uh, uh. Do I have enough stuff? I think I do. Yes. That gets me one green up there. Because I can grab the ice, then smash this uh, to the green. So then to bring another blue back. And that's all the ice cubes I think I need. Uh, uh, but I still need to get rid of you. So let's do it again. There we go. Green. Uh, uh. Wait, where did my sign go? Oh, I just turned it into, okay. Yep, 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 yep. You grab that. And then using you just to consume you. I might need more to be honest, because I'm going to set up a, a system over here. Oh, and I don't, okay, it's this situation again where I can just walk around with the greens now. Whatever. Okay, you're going there. You are going to be doing this. Uh, greens. I just need loads of greens. Not loads. Four, maybe? One here. One here. One here, this is it, this is totally it. Spawn everything? Can I run fast enough to spawn everything? Oh, I've messed up. Uh, can I move it? Yes. Ah, yes, yes, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, I'm not done yet. No. Okay. Yeah, you see that. Can I block your view somehow? Could I make a... I could freeze a thing. Yeah, I could freeze a thing here. Okay, don't spawn you yet. Uh, I think I want to spawn you, but not yet. Let's bring a thing through. You're going to be ice. I'm going to freeze a thing here. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. I have to bring another green. I can just walk around. I don't need to do the trick. And then you go there. Uh, sure, no, I can put you back afterwards. Uh, uh, and another green to eat you. Hmm, okay, in this case, I do need to have brought another green. Okay, I can just grab one. Oh, it's spawned one, so I'm gonna have to do another one of you. Okay, there we go. Grab the green. Put it here-ish. Do this, do this, do this. You grab you. Ah. It's fine, you smash, you do that. Okay, now that's blocking the view. Uh, and it's okay, because I didn't need to take any more beans anywhere. So you can go there. And I need to reposition the other green because it was wrong last time. Now I'm done. One needs to go here. I'll spawn you last. Let's 
spawn you now. You. Ah. Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to do another one. I can do another one. It's fine. <clears throat> Back to when I froze you. Ah. <laughs> okay, another green. Do this, do that. You go here, I go and grab another green. Oh, I take it around that way. And I put it here, I freeze both of you. I then do this, you eat that, you smash. Okay. But you go here, you go here. Uh, should I start spawning things? Oh, so I have to spawn you. Yeah, I think we're okay. So spawn you. Let's not spawn you until later. What a complicated setup this is. So you, you, oh, not yet. You, you, and that one. Are we good now? We are good. Spawns another one. Go, yes. <laughs> That's cool. That is really cool. Quite a lot of busy work to set it up, but coming to the realization. And I had the idea earlier on, like what if I could like dump a purple, but I, the, only, the only way I could think of doing it at the time was dropping it in the water. But actually I can just convert it to a different color. Holy moly, that was cool. That was cool. We got another five bean done by any beans necessary. Whew, the sign's going well. Other than that three bean that's back there and bean cross. Maybe next time I'll move on. This has been a lot of like very big puzzles. One after the other. Yeah. I think I should come back. I don't want to burn out on those. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, see you next time for whatever happens next.